about anything. Run, what really? you do last night? You do anything? <laughs> you slept all night? Yeah, I slept. Rhomboloids. Where'd Rhomboloids. you get the shades? <laughs> the Rhomboloids last night. Yeah? You rhomboloided it? No. Sure you did. That's why he's got the shades Look on. Look at you, you're all good guy, though. <laughs> Who's around? Anybody? Seen anybody. Place is dead. Yeah. Yeah. No one out. All right, see. We'll give you time. Is nobody around? Is Jigger around? I think so. Yeah. Yes. Yeah? Yeah. Connor. This guy's going out tonight. I don't know. We do. What are you doing? Got some numbers. Some serious yeah. numbers. Get a call. Well, I'm available. Yeah. yeah. Seriously? These people are taping our. our I can't, that's it, this is that they, that's what they want, that's all they want. Nice life, huh? He stands there with the headphones on, got the little microphone sticking. It's not playing, is it? You'll be a star, Skinny. What's it for, though? I mean, who is it for? You for your private research, like, or? You know, like, that's it. People talk. You know, a little slang, little yeah. couple, three, four sentences. Just the idea is to pretend I know what you're talking here, about. Okay? Pretend I don't have a pretend I don't have a Well, I have to like run. That. Really, I, I, you know. Hey, you know, you do your own thing. Come out of here, I just went up town. I bought a pair of guest jeans, 60 bucks, right? I tried calling the lady into putting them in the bag so I can walk out. She didn't want no part of it. You know what? Yeah. She said, I went to work now. That's what it was, all my guest jeans. Well, the guy. Dominic Cook. I told him, I asked yeah. him if he wanted to have a few junkies. He says, you don't care, take yeah. anybody. Yeah. But I you think they're... Them <laughs> <laughs> Not junkies. Not junkies, okay. Yeah, get three, four kids and be all set. Seriously. What are we doing now? Just hanging out, right? Why? What are you doing tonight, though? I don't know yet. I really don't. You make some phone call. I got your number. I give you a buzz. Yeah. You go out. Yeah, where? Seriously. Somebody's house. Find the girl. Yeah, yeah, right there. Yeah. Too big. <laughs> <laughs> enforcer. The enforcer. The mafia. Right here. The baguette. <laughs> what a baguette and ego. Like, right? You talk? <laughs> you crack them. Crab cack them? No. Cab. In the back of the cab. And? And? Cab hit another car. It was a car Obviously, accident? Yeah. No, you yeah. got two black guys, like you got a yeah. uh, so lead serious. pipe across no. the face. No. Right there? Right there? No. It'd be chilly. Alright. Uh, you gonna call me? Walsh getting this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, guys. Me for a few minutes. <laughs> What'd you do with your hand, brother? <laughs> oh my god, why'd you do that shit? <laughs> really? Who did that? You let anybody do it? <laughs> just what did he said, do my ears? <laughs> really? What are you doing? What's this one? Uh, these people are doing a survey around the country on the way population handles themselves and speaks and deals with their friends and interacts with their peers and whatnot. And they just syllables. <laughs> Jake, come here. Come here, I'm gonna make you a start, Jake. Yeah, didn't I just meet you up town? No, that was another kid. That was another kid? Man, on. All the Irish kids, all the time. Really? I know. She'd be walking around there with all these <laughs> Irish kids, you're gonna get hurt. <laughs> you working tonight? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'll give you the, I'll give you the same thing. You gonna be right? Yeah, I should be around. Take him to work. I'll drop by. You bartending or are you gonna... Sunday. Uh, too. Sunday you'll be bartending? Yeah, yeah come visit you Sunday too. Come, just, just don't go in. They ask me at the door. I'll find out. I do. That, you know, that, don't that, that, that clam, right? He works. He goes to Salem State. Yeah, you know, yeah, they yeah, the mustache. Yeah, yeah. And I see him all the time at school and I say, hey, what's up? I don't get boo out of the kid. Yeah. Nothing. <laughs> no, she's got <laughs> some serious problems. <laughs> Colombo, what are you doing? Just ask me today. All right, Jimmy. Take care. Nice seeing you. Columbo, where you going, Mama? All right. How's your family feeling? Good. It's a little Bella. 
Come on, we'll walk down the street, get a few more videos, we'll talk to it. So I guess this is this, this is, is it. what you want. This right? is where we work. is a touchy word. How about um, acquaintances? How's that? A little bit better? It said... Uh, yeah. Thanks, guys. <laughs> what are you doing? You're coming at me. Don't get him in trouble. Yeah. They're doing a survey around the country. So she said we stand there and we'll laugh a little bit. No. <laughs> yeah, it's good. No, it's good. No, get out of here. Come on, talk to me, Joey. No, seriously. Where's your girlfriend? Where's your girlfriend? What? Where's your girlfriend? She ain't here. Did you give her permission to go out? Huh? Joey, come here. Joey. Why? You got nothing to be ashamed of. You don't have to be embarrassed. Ain't no thing. Joey, any of the other kids in there? In the younger kids in there? They're having a birthday party? Yeah. Well, who? Whose birthday? Some little girl. Anybody I know? Some girl from here was there. Julio! Come here, will you please for a minute? You look all good, What's the matter? Rough night? Yeah. Seriously? Did you make it to my party Friday? What happened? Not Seriously? Chris fucked up big time. Yeah, yeah he's in trouble with right. the Marines. He fucking he called up he called up his boss. He says, hey, I ain't coming into work today. The boss goes, why not? He says, I'm going and get beamed with the brug. The boss says, yeah, you, 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 they put him in the brig. Yeah. Seriously, then, then he took a piss test, and uh, they found coke and grass in his system, and they put him in the brig and threw him out of the court. Huh? Who are they? These people here, they're doing a survey around the country on how uh, people conduct themselves and how they speak and how they <laughs> how they deal with public and so What's on going and on so forth. on the Playboy channel? No. <laughs> uh, we win. Oh, whose party is it? What's her name there? What is your name? I don't know. Do you want to hear an old man speak? <laughs> you know, you don't care about the old people, right? So, Joey, how's school going? What's up, bye-bye. But back, come here, will you please? Joey, where are you going to school? Charlestown High. You going to Charlestown High? Electricity or something? We'll work carpentry. No, it's the regulars. Just going there? It's the regulars, shit. Yeah? Man. The niggas giving you a hard time? Yeah. You take a shank with you? I fucked them up last year. Me and Matt Wallandy cracked them. You cracked a couple of them? Cracked a few of them. Yeah, you let them know where you were from? Yeah, they, they don't mess with you now, them. right? Them Just tell them to knock them. Right? Got a lot of respect. How the girls there? They nice? Yeah, Irish nice broads are caca, yeah. huh? <laughs> the Irish broads are ugly. Any Italians there? No, not really. No Italians? No. It's all Irish, huh? Yeah. Want to talk to a uh, store owner? No, you don't care about the store owner? Joey, where's all your friends now? Anybody in the playground? No, they ain't around. Nobody out now? Nobody out now? but, huh? Yeah. Dead. Let's go work here. The kid from Charlestown, he got shanked. The kid that got stabbed? Yeah. 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 Hi, honey. Where's my kiss? Come here. Where's my kiss? You being a good girl? Yeah. You better be. Hey, Jody! Come here, honey, I want to ask you something. No. Do you, do you, do you know Joey Joyce? Up at yeah, Amherst? Yeah, up in Amherst. Yeah. He's a good friend of mine. I know, he was asking. Yeah, we're coming up there the 25th to see Lisa Lisa. Oh, you're coming up? Oh, yeah, we're going up to see the concert. It's the 24th, on the, a Thursday. It's a Thursday, the 24th, that's what it is. What's she up What are they doing to you? They're conducting a survey on how the population conducts themselves and speaks. <laughs> Come here, want to say a few sentences? 
Come here, talk to me for a minute. It's just, it's just camp. Oh, Jody, Jody, Jody. Hi, Jody. Hi, Jody. Hi, Jody. Hi, Jody. Hi, Jody. Hi, Hi, Jody. 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 Hi, so what's that's with this? That's, that's with Joey, Joey lives, lives right? with Patrick. Yeah, yeah and Barbara Fuziani, where is she? She's um, she lives where I do, under me. And what's wrong with that joint? Because I don't like it. I rather live in Southwest, where everything is real clicky. No, not that it's clicky. No, it's just they're all um. You know me, I can't say yeah, one place at one time. Around, huh? Yeah. You handling the grade? How's yeah, the class no, it's work? all right. It's difficult. No, I have it easy. Yeah, a lot of idiots go there. No. Levi flannel shirts. Rocking. Yeah, but you can't you can't compare them to here. Bandanas around their knees. No, they're and, uh, all good kids. Let the hats and well, stuff like that. Look at you with the thing around your head. Yeah, but no, this, is, all, this is normal. All, no, they're all good kids. They're this all is normal. they're all normal and they're all good yeah, kids. Yeah, you like Joey? I've only met Joey like once when I saw Patrick. Nice and tank, yeah. And I, I says Joey, I know, and then. And then plus he always watches Days of Our Lives, so oh I always call him and I say, "What's happening?" Oh, you got his number, huh? Joey, yeah. Well, get in there. Oh. Hey, Joey's a good looking chick. What a nice boy that is. What Joey is? Yeah. Is someone else out? If they knew you, or one of your brothers. I know everybody up there. All those kids—they all came to my party at uh, Narcissus. No, but I'm saying some person like I know his, and I went, oh, I can't. Think I know him. McManus. I know him. Was it McManus? No, I, it wasn't a guy. I don't know. I can't, I know I can't remember. I can't remember. So you have no problem making the grade out there? No, so far, no. Yeah, what's your major? Nothing. You, yeah. yeah. That's all right, you got till the end of your sophomore year to make a decision. I know, I know. So when Which, you're coming up, you got the, the tickets the already? The 24, Joey's getting them for us. We got eight, bro. Me and my bro. roommate are going up there. Hey, bro, I want to sit in front, right in front, though. I ain't going. Well, I know like the first three rows are reserved yeah, for people for me. who are on the no for people who are on the committee. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Wait. First three rows. Are you? Watch. Walk right in like we own the joint. Seriously, Probably. watch. We will. We're that's right what in there. Does around here anyway. That's right. Well, that's how you're gonna like you belong there. Oh I know. Like when we went to Lisa. Washington Towers, the guy says, Do you live here? We said yeah, yeah. we live here. We they they were having bad problems up in Washington. They having fires up there? Fires and rapes and they oh, raped somebody good. at the yeah, munchie store. Shit. They raped somebody. You at got the... a fake ID so you can go out? No, I left it. I got it. They knuckled your ID? <laughs> no, it depends. Well, I know two of the bars. I'm all right. I'm safe. Well, that's because you know the guy. Work. Yeah, <laughs> but um, you know, some of them, if you walk in with people, then it doesn't make a difference. <laughs> Patrick are looking for. The, I heard Patrick hated it and wanted to leave. Patrick was like. Who's this Patrick? Man? Patrick Vino. You know, you remember Dana Vino who used to work in Francesco? Yeah, I know. His yeah. brother Pat. No, Dana him. Dana. You know Patrick if you see him. He lives in Medford. I mean, Joey's roommate oh, with him. Oh, he's a Meffa product. My jo roommate's from Meffa. 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 Medford. Meffa. Joey's Joey's rooming with Patrick, but um. They want, I don't know how Joey likes it. Joey, Joey loves it. You can't yeah, he he feels he like God it? up there. Does he, did he, does he like yeah. it? I haven't seen him around campus at all. He I says all the, all the good looking girls up there are stuck up though. Really? Yeah, that's what he told no, me. No, it's not that they're stuck up. Well, I haven't seen, but I think it's the guys I, are afraid to even talk I to I told them, wait till we go up there. We'll straighten them all out. It's, Have cooking supper for the kid and making his bed and sewing in his clothes. Uh, the nice little tan girl should be. No, there's no Italians up there. I know, there. Joey told me that. He said, no kumbayas out there. Nobody. They're all like, they're all dead Jewish. A lot of rich Jews, huh? Yeah, they're, they're, they're dead Jewish and dead homely. Or they're all nice looking and dead poor. So I can't make out either way. I can't make out either way. That's all right. You let them make you out, honey. No, I'm they not, have I'm not up there. Yeah, I'm not up there. Anyway. You don't have to impress nobody. I'm not up there for that. Just go and make your grade, right? No, I don't. I have a Do you like living thing. away from home? No. Oh, yeah, anything Good, to get huh? out of get here? Good, Get out of the neighborhood. Please, nice. I you can't. realize there's a world besides the street, huh? Oh, I knew that all the time. It's just it's so funny because then I leave and then I come back and I look at these pathetic fools and, and I'm like, changed. you know, I, how old are you? Like 26, still hanging in the corner, calf? Okay, right. fine. I says, 
like look change. really ridiculous. That's right. Not even go to school, get a grip on Nothing. it. Nothing. Like, they don't even want to work. That's it. Which you mean? summed it up right there, sweetheart, in one sentence. Really did. They don't really want to do anything. Too much noise? We even turn around. We go for the caddy. It gets crazy. Yeah, yeah. You get more than like three people, it's just too late. Right. Yeah, I see. You got permission to be on here? Yeah, I'm not yeah. sure. Yeah. Right. Make it feel you're good. Why not? Yeah. You toot. Come here, talk to me. Come here, you toot the Nike jacket on. Seriously, come here, talk to me. What's, what's his name with the Nike jacket on? That's Thomas. Thomas, come here, Thomas. Come here, hey. talk to me, Thomas. Sit down, man. Thomas, come here, where you go come to school? On, sit down. Thomas, come here, where you go to school? <laughs> come on, sit down. Come here, sit down there, buddy. You got buddy. me in Where do you go to school? Columbus. You go to Columbus? Yeah. Yeah, the Charleston kids give you a hard time? No. They never, they know better, right? <laughs> huh? A lot of Irish Stand girls in there this year? Yeah, they're ugly, huh? Uh, some of them are. Some of them, they don't compare to a nice little Italian girl, right? No. Never, huh? Let's Ask him some questions. <laughs> <laughs> you doing well in school, Joey? Doing all right. You doing all right? Getting by. Getting by? Yeah, you know. You start getting the A's and B's yeah, now. Yeah, the A's and B's. Get That's right. Like you gotta be mean. You gotta be mean? Sometimes. Yeah? You tell them I cut you like an onion? You gotta scare people away. Yeah? Yeah. Cut you like an onion? Not too much, though. No, I never, I never did say that. <laughs> okay. Right. So you got a few uh, questions yeah, or something to that effect? Yeah, well, you know what we're doing, right? so... I think I handled myself pretty well with this guy <laughs> so far. Okay. Okay. But... It's all right. It's okay. It's all right. Oh, no, it's not careful. okay. I would really like to have him in there. Little kid from broke glass, he's gonna fall, cut himself, yeah, and his mother's gonna complain to the city. Yeah. Well, they'll probably blame you guys. Say a couple of clams walking around with uh, some video stuff. Typical that's, of that's around here. Good. Somebody to blame, right? A couple yeah. of guys with a beard. We're not around, you have a beard, that's what it is. Say a few beatniks. <laughs> a couple of liberal beatniks, they'll yeah, say. Right. So, Sue, what can I do for you, honey? Oh, gosh, I thought you had the door in here. Well, I'm getting it. All right. <laughs> okay. So, Phyllis, how do you think you felt? You got an accident? I think that I handle myself well when I have to, and when I'm with my pair brackets, that I let my Italian cultural verbal slurs come out to their fullest. But, like I said before, when I'm dealing with authoritarian figures, I can control my speech somewhat. So how you, how, what you just said to me, how is that? A little combination of both. Because is, is, now, is, am I, uh, am I being filmed? So in other words, my eye contact with the people I'm dealing with is important, right? And my hand gestures are going to be noticed and so on and so forth, right? Uh, I feel I have an accent that stands out a lot. Don't you want this stuff in the background? Um. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's like the blacks, they got their own clicky language. The Puerto Ricans got their own language. The Italians got their own language. You got the white Caucasians, they do their own thing. It's it's like. You just gotta be able to sum everything up in their way of speaking. Like the blacks, they'll say, hey, cuz, you being chilly today? You know? And then you got an Italian kid who'll say, hey, Paisan, what's going down? You know, something to that effect. And you got a white guy, and he'll just say, what's happening? You know, and it, 
and it all all the groups they interact a lot they really do especially in the in a jail because it's all like their own little environment their environment everything's dictated for them to them they they have no say in the matter so that's why I started off with um, criminal justice major and then I added the psychology major so I was able to deal with them and, and be you know understandable and relate to them Oh yeah, hundred percent. I really would. I, I tell you, I, I would never change growing up in the city. The best thing that ever happened to me, really was. It's just, I, it's such an advantage over people. Just growing up in the city and being aware of the fast lane and what's going on in the street and uh, who's who and what's what and what cops wear and and how things work on an illegal basis. And then my speaking. As you go to a club, you start talking to a babe, and she says, you Italian? And she, what makes you think that? She says, you talk like an Italian. And then you start giving it the accent, yeah, you guys, and uh, where you's from, and I'm with three of my friends, I threw the football all day, and uh, this, that, and the uh, mother, and stuff like that. And, yeah. and the women, they eat it up. They love that. They really do. They thrive on that. And then you get a guy, right, and you tell him, don't fuck with me, I'll break your motherfucking head. And then right away, the guy, he says, wow, this kid's from the city, he's gonna pull a shank on me and cut me in. And, and, and you, you can intimidate people with your verbal actions. Like, I can walk up to somebody 6'2 and scare the shit out of them after I say a few sentences. You know, say, uh, and Jewel, yeah, man, Jewel, I live around the corner from you, will come down here and blow your head away. You know what I'm saying? Or something to that effect. Verbal actions, are very influential and they, they really can intimidate a person. They really can. Plus, being able to speak and having, you know, a way to handle yourself with different people in different situations, you, you can cut out a lot of violence because you can usually talk your way out of a fight. You know what I'm saying? Or you can talk your way into a fight. You can be the aggressor all the time. Like me, I'm probably the smallest kid in my school, but I get the most respect just because I'm from the city. You know, where you from? Boston. Oh, really? Y'all from Boston? What part? And then I give them the, I'm uh, from a little Italian section. I think of it called the Not Then. They go, y'all from the Not Then? And, and then they say, wow, you talk funny. And I say, yeah, well, I think you talk funny. And, you know, I, I think growing up in the city and having my, my background here was a big asset to me. I think I'd be lost if I grew up with framing cam and I was wearing uh, Levi jeans and a flannel shirt and uh living out in the boondocks and don't got a clue about nothing. <laughs> Seriously, the kids, they don't got a clue about life. You live in the city, at least you know what's going on. You know who's who. You know what's happening. When was the first time you realized that, that, that North End action could be a real asset in your legacy? Freshman year in college. Because I was always in this environment and everybody I associated with was just like me. And then when I went to a different environment, I stuck out and I was like, I was like the sore thumb of the crowd and people, they, they wanted to know who I was and where I came from and what my gig was and so on and so forth. So when I would start to deal with other people from like Worcester, Framingham, Attleboro, Peru, I lived with a kid from Peru and, and stuff like that, I realized how this was a benefit to me, being able to speak like this and change my speaking. And like I said before, when I'm with a, an authoritarian figure, I can be, yes, sir, how you doing? Thank you very much, handshake, eye to eye contact, you know, speak when I'm supposed to speak and uh, use proper English. Like, I played basketball well today, instead of like, oh yeah, I played good today. You know, something to that effect. And you know, at least I've adapted the ability to know when to be a not them punk and when to try to be uh, a prominent person from Boston. Have you ever found that it's a problem talking like this in the North End? Oh, never. Seriously, it's always been to my advantage. Never hurt me. Could never hurt me. I can't, I can't foresee it being a problem. I mean, I've been in instances is where in classroom, and in classroom participation, I raise my hand and say, uh, two plus one's three. And then by the class go, three, ha, ha. You know, but that's about it. You get a, you get a few people that, that, rank on the way I abuse the English language. But that's my upbringing. You know, I was brought up in a little Italian community. So I speak like that and I love it.
<laughs> it's been colder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's let been me, colder. All the time. See, my brother, my brother Freddie, he went to New York and he lived out there and he had to change his gig and he had to speak because he wanted to be an actor and he had to talk with the English proper pronunciation and proper uses of words and so forth. And he always told me, kid, when you go to college, the kids are going to rank on you, they're going to abuse you, they're going to make fun of the way you talk. Like the first day in college, I started a bottle collection. Now all my friends, they were saying, bottle? bottle, it's like bottle, and I say bottle, and like I got a lot of abuse from it, but after a while they realized I was from the city, I don't take shit, and that, you know, I'd go head to head with anybody that I gained respect, so I, I really, I really should have used my brother's advice, but I'm glad I didn't, because then I would be out speaking normal and being average, typical, basic, everyday person in society. Whereas now, I stand out, I stick out. People want to know who I am. People want to know where I'm from. They want to they wanna be with me. It's like everybody's the follower and I'm the leader. Well, we talked, they said that uh, in a couple of years, you might feel differently. That's what they, they've been telling me that all the way, and I swear to God, I am firm on it. I'll never change. I'll always keep my nut and accent. Because people, right away, they can pick it up. I'm the only kid in my college. I call up anybody on the phone and they tell me who I am. They say, this is Phil, huh? And I'm saying, yeah. And it's good. People know who I am. They're aware of me. I love it. My brothers, you know, they're all against it. They hate it. Because I'll go in the house and I'll start going like this and I'll do this and do that. And then they'll say, you know, act normal. And I'm like this, Ma, what you cook tonight? You know what I'm saying? It's just, hey, I hate that not that image. And I'll say, well, what do you want to do? You can take me out of the neighborhood, but you never take the neighborhood out of me. So I... I really use it to my advantage. I really do, all the time. And every kid in the city here, once they get that knowledge that they can put city life to their advantage instead of being a punk on the city, carrying a knife, selling uh, pot, heroin, whatever they want to sell in the streets, and go to college and make something of themselves and find out that there really is something for them outside the neighborhood. Because in the, in, the, in, the, in the neighborhoods, we're all stuck together. It's like poverty, ghetto, like none of us. We had nothing. Everything we got now, we had to get ourselves. You know, like our parents, they scratch, they bite, sent us to a parochial school because they thought it was going to be a good upbringing for us. Meanwhile, if we went to a public school, we would have been exposed to different people. So there's like a little contradiction. More proper in this? The women, the girls, the girls handle themselves with a, a more proper terminology than the guys, but that's because they're, they're female, they're homes orientated, they're in the house, they don't go out, they ain't on the corner a tree in the morning, stuff like that. Whereas these kids here, these kids, they're 10, 12 years old, they're out in the corner at two in the morning. What time you go home, Thomas, at night? 12. 12, that's early, how come? Catch me out, it's cold. It's cold. In the summer, they're out 2, 3 in the morning. They got the radio blasting. They, they're drinking beers at 13, 14 years old. Give it time. What about your, uh, uh, your brother Bobby and your sister, sister Sledge? <laughs> How do they talk? I mean, when, how would you, when Kathy was home oriented all her life. <laughs> all her life, she's always home in the house. Um, nice, proper little Italian girl. You know what I'm saying? Uh, one boyfriend, you know, straightforward, nice little Tango, it's a marriage type. Brother Robert, outgoing. See, he was one of the people that he always told me, he says, kid, you gotta stop talking like an art damn punk. And I said, why? Well, what's the difference? He says, because people are gonna rank on you, they're gonna tell you you talk funny, they're gonna make fun of the way you speak, the way you use your hands, the way you, you use uh, hand gestures and stuff like that. And I says, well, that's all well and good for you, you know, you do your own thing, I, it's, to me, I'd be lost without growing up in the city and having these assets. I used them as an asset instead of a liability, you know. And when they went to college, it was a liability for my brothers, you know. But then again, they ain't as smart as me, you know. And that's, you know, sums it up. All right. Right? <laughs> <laughs> kidding me? Yeah, we heard about that. What is that? What's that? Go out on the weekend. That is good. Oh.